Hey everybody, it's Lex from PDQ.com. I'm going to take you through getting started using PDQ Deploy. We'll run through the installation and your first deployment, give you an idea of what's going on. First, let's take a quick uh, second to talk about licensing. Licensing is one license per administrator. That is living, breathing person. So if there's two of you going to use it, you don't need one login for both of you to use. You need two licenses of Deploy so that you can both use it. That being said, you will have received links to download the deploy installation and also a link with, uh, or excuse me, uh, email with your license in it. I've already downloaded the link, so let's just uh, get started right here. We're gonna double click, preparing to install. Now, the great thing about this is pretty simple. The defaults are great. Make sure you, you know, read EULA, hit next. Location's gonna be installed, hit next, install. Great thing is this is super, super fast. Couple of things you might wanna uh, know about while this is installing. If you pull up uh, and you look for PDQ, PDQ firewall ports, okay? Things that you're gonna need to have set on your end, so this is gonna work. You pull up and you'll notice this is knowledge base 1023 right here. Here are all the firewall ports that we use to make deployments happen agentlessly. Um, also, we'll take you through setting up a group policy object in here. And then finally, right here, these are all the places ET phones home. This is where we go to get packages, check licensing, and get new versions of the product. So again, check that out. That's PDQ firewall ports and its blog or knowledge base 1023. All right, well, great, that, uh, that's done. We're gonna hit finish on that. The next thing this is gonna do is gonna fire up and we're going to walk through the setup configuration. Okay, we're gonna, this is where you put your license mode in, okay? I'm gonna click license. I'm gonna browse for the file or you can copy it and paste it in. I put mine on my desktop. Here's my deploy one, give it an okay. Your license goes in, make sure you get that start and end license and the dashes in front of that. Give that an okay. Jake's going to blur that out because, you know, licensing is licensing. You'll notice I've got product licenses. I have some details about, you know, this is the technical contact, etc. Hit next on that. Now, it's going to ask you what mode you want to put it in. Right out the gates, probably best you put it in local mode. Okay, you could put it in central server mode. That's another video, but for this, this video, we're going to put it in local mode. We hit next, and now it's going to ask you for credentials. What credentials are is you need to have either at the very least local admin uh, credentials or domain admin credentials on all your target machines. Personally, I think domain admin credentials are a great way to go. That's what I'm going to use here. Put in your password. Let's see if I actually did it right the first time. Now let me take you through kind of the uh, look and feel of this. So at this point, here's your tree. We have all our deployments, our schedules. Let's just jump into the package library. As I click on the package library, here are all the pre-built packages you can download. Let's just grab Flash for Firefox. Notice I select it, and over here on the right, I hit Download Selected, and it's going to download the package from our package library and put it in our packages directory. Now, you'll notice right here there's a box. It's a package with an arrow on it. That means that this is an auto-download package. What that means, if you look in your Preferences, you go to Options, Preferences, and look at auto download, you'll see this one's selected automatic after seven days. That's the default. What that means is when a new version of Flash comes out, it's gonna wait seven days and then replace the version that's on your machine. So there is that. Now, <clears throat> I highlight Flash and over to the right, I hit deploy, deploy once, or I could hit control D. You notice the, the keyboard shortcut there. Now I need to choose targets. I can choose targets from Active Directory, Allen Rails. I could also just type in the name of a computer, Beth. Now these are the names of computers, not people. And you'll notice it resolved those. At this point, I can hit Deploy Now, and that's gonna go. The other thing you can do, highlight this, you could hit New Schedule, and then you could schedule it to go. We got some many videos on how to do scheduling. So basically, there we go. Look at that. Beth, already done, successful. Three steps. 
I've done my first deployment. Super quick, super easy. Just so you guys know, if you go to uh, pdq.com front slash videos, you can see videos. We've got many videos on how to use deploy. Uh, we've got a playlist that takes you through all the things you can do in deploy. So it's another great resource for you to get to and go to to find out more about how to use PDQ Deploy. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this uh, helped get you started.